Hello there, the weekly review of past week. Um, well, it was a hell of a week. <coughs> I think it was uh, by far the worst week I have had in 2017. Um, why? Well, why? It's quite obvious. It has everything to do with the US dollar. We had a rate hike and instead of um, ga gaining some momentum, price dropped and broke a low and dropped and broke another low and dropped again then broke this low dropped again it was a huge free fall uh, in in in, um, in the US dollar and uh, I uh, I was I was covered in US dollar <coughs> Swiss franc Australian dollar US dollar um, because of the <coughs> drop in US dollar Australian dollar I think the Australian dollar gained some momentum as well on the other side where I was in <coughs> the Australian dollar Swiss franc so overall um, I was looking at price action I was watching those uh, highs and lows and I thought if this one holds I can get back in again <coughs> it's it's 101 trading psychology what happened over here it's to me as a trader um, I really need to work on the thing that happened last week because the number one rule is <coughs> in technical trading for me is trade what you see I didn't trade what I saw if I traded what I saw I had to go short 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 on this one I had to go short on the um, let me get it <coughs> I had to go short on this one as well etc etc so there is no reason to um, to not be in this one uh, to the downside um, just last Friday prounce price seemed to have bounced off <coughs> a little bit of this trend line we have a small pin bar over here and some three bullish candles to the upside um, <coughs> will this be another move to the upside I don't know um, well let's switch back to the daily let's let's do a little little bit of analysis to get a grip on what happened last week and where we are at uh, this was the previous low to the previous high <coughs> so when we draw in a Fibonacci we saw the price came down all the way to the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement so there's, there's a little little bit room left to the downside um, taking into consideration the trend line as well I think if we are seeing a bounce it has to happen around here because there simply is no more room left to the downside because if this level breaks then it's all over I think all over in a sense of um, a little bit like this exactly um, it's all over because uh, th there will be way more downside potential uh, after that <coughs> fundamentally I, I don't trade fundamentally but fundamentally I think that the market makers started to uh, it was quite obvious that the dollar was gaining strength everybody anticipated the rate hike um, price went up and up and up and then finally the rate, hi rate hike came Pri it was already priced in and of course you see a minor correction there were no new clues on uh, maybe more rate hikes or sooner or, or bigger steps or the dot plot everybody's watching there were no there was no new information so you know we, we saw a correction didn't expect a correction like this but if this is it and the market makers uh, were stopping out all the retail traders and uh, are looking for a nice uh, entry again you know after all when the dust settles maybe next week I personally think that there is no reason that the dollar should should drop any further um, because after all we had a rate hike you know and then the US economy is, is, is doing good so but then again that's what I guess and guessing doesn't make you money trade what you see so this one was a terrible trade for me missed it completely and I s even have some terrible positions left in this one this one same thing it's, it's the same thing it happened but the other way around so uh, terrible trade for me as well uh, missed the whole move <coughs> for now uh, going into next week I should be uh, eyeing this area um, let me, let me uh, point it out for you guys this is the high this is the low so this area is is where price is at right now it, uh, it tried to get up there a couple of times we see a couple of pin bars so looks like price doesn't really want to get up there but 
then again the same thing goes for the downside so it's hard to tell where price is going um, things like this when this happens I normally switch to the to the safer to the safe mode for example in this case uh, where price is at right now I would be willing to enter near the um, resistance uh, with a stop above resistance of course so um, just to point that out uh, maybe maybe let's point it out like this um, a small supply zone over here this is where I want to enter everything outside of this supply zone would be my stop and of course I enter this one to the short side or then again if I believe that price is gonna test these lows um, I will be looking to enter to the long side and maybe have another move up then again on the break of this trend line I should be uh, ready to probably enter it as well um, I normally do not go to the shorter time frames but in cases like this uh, I have to get some some feeling of where price is going just looking at the hourly chart price came down reversed immediately and is making some higher highs and higher lows at the moment so next week we should be um, scalping a lot personally uh, we have to re-establish uh, trend in the US dollar pair so let's see what we get out of that this one as well is a um, trade we didn't expect actually because price broke through the long time range and started moving to the upside there and um, from from this point out there's not no reason to think that this will reverse let's see what the RSI is showing us RSI is showing us some some divergence so that is interesting so let me put it like that so the divergence is showing us some some shift in momentum but then again we need a retest or a, a break of this low there are some things we uh, if this low breaks of course we will see more downside potential if th if this high breaks of course we will go the other way around so um the fact that this one is trading in an opposite direction I, I, I for some reason I don't feel comfortable trading this to the long side um, I think I think momentum is a little bit over even though looking at the weekly chart I think this one has potential if it goes up to this area on around the 113 so but this was quite a move so I think this one will get exhausted over time and then again let's not forget this area where price just moved into and uh, bounced off of so let's see let's see what happens it's just trick what you see again um, let's see what happens if we trade this one on the hourly chart uh, let's see then we we are seeing actually also a little decline we also see some lower lows over here so let's see what this will will give us next week okay so what else do we have Australia of course this one uh, this one I pointed out last week actually uh, had a nice move I pointed it out on the four hour chart so let me draw it in like this to recognize what I am talking about <coughs> I think I entered around here and I went low so I had a pretty nice uh, nice trade then of course price started moving to the upside and this low should have gotten me out of this trade especially the break of this high so less less profit was on the table by then so this was already a bad trade um, but then again price came back up touched this trend line and I was um, I, I'm looking to get out of this trade now again it's going up of course I'm into this one to the short side um, why does this happen I thought it would happen because of the, the strange uh, moves in the forex market on the US dollar uh, pair but you know let's see what happens the, this range is getting uh, is getting getting tighter so something is gonna happen into this one when the, the, the pair this pair opens up next next week um, <coughs> so trading it to the upside like that or the downside 
I'm, I'm, I'm zooming in on the shorter time frames to get some feeling on where price is at in this one um, potential bounce off that line of course not really that much of opportunity next week I, I'm, I'm looking for for the dollar to make up his mind traders bulls or bears where are we going are we going up um, f from this correction or will this correction turn into a longer bearish phase for now um, <coughs> that that's it I, I want to zoom into gold for a little bit of course this happens uh, gold has been going down for quite a while I think it touched the uh, I think I know it touched the what is it yes 78.6 FIP so that's the maximum FIP retracement one retest and price took off um, so there's a technical element into this but then again the US dollar is getting weaker so this is exactly what happened from the NFP right now price is showing slowing down a little bit um, I think it is quite an obvious scenario that price can be going at least to this trend line for some more upward momentum but also in this pair let's see if the dollar uh, will will bounce it will will you know bounce back up and uh, continue the, the 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 bull the bullish trend it was in actually um, I entered on IBM this week um, because of this trend line it got broken and right now it's trading below this trend line it's not an ideal scenario so it kind of looks like there's more potential to the downside don't know about that not feeling it really not f not feeling it to the downside actually <coughs> because of this FIP level quite an obvious low an obvious high <coughs> 78.6 we had a touch and it went off but maybe this one will make another touch of this this line and then we will see a move from here on out back up so trying to get into this one could be a potential trade with some nice risk reward of course uh, because when we enter here with a tight stop somewhere below this level maybe below this this low would be an obvious stop and all the way back up is great risk reward so there's still there is a nice opportunity in IBM I've been watching this all year and finally it starts to happen um, oil don't forget oil huge drop it looks like it's stabilizing uh, right now um, let me get this one FIP um, high previous low it's falling back to the 61.8 so there is more potential to the downside uh, a lot of fundamentals into into this one as well negative oil prices will influence the stock market from time to time uh, the negative sentiment will kick in the big oil companies uh, go down and that draws down the the, the the stock indexes as well I am I don't know if I want to see it like this or like this but for now I think this is a better FIP level so we reach the, m the maximum uh, pullback um, maybe a retest maybe a retest down here and then we take off to the upside again <coughs> to enter longs in oil we are in a great area to do so but um, also over here great risk reward if you want to enter around here of course a break of this previous low you want to get out potential to the upside very nice then talking about switching it to the safe side um, I am trading where is it this stock a lot this is actually a stock that has great momentum um, very clear pullbacks touch of these trend lines and then again upward momentum this is the daily chart let me show you the four hour chart it's even better I entered here last week week before so not this week but the week before I entered here and in a couple of the two days or something three days I closed my position out on the previous high and um, I had a nice surprise by the end of the week I think it was a thousand a thousand I didn't calculate for that week um, small pullback minor pullback and now we are going this way again um, like I said I'm scalping this 
I enter at 66, I exit at 67, I enter at 65, I exit at 66 with whole lot. So one lot will mean I will get 100 euros uh, per move. So sometimes when it pulls back, I open three to four lots and it moves back up. I got I got me 400 euros. So that's the way I go in and go out. Sometimes I, I trade the short side. For example, in this case, uh, I, I I could potentially go short from 67 back to 66, so I profit from that pullback. Um, it's a nice 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 way to take take some trades and scalp a little bit, especially with the the nasty positions I have to uh, get out of in the U.S. dollar related pairs. Um, um, let's see what happens next week. Um, today tomorrow I will do another review. Um, I think it's a good idea to start looking at some pairs that uh, that I'm not in yet so um, let's let's make a strategy for myself to make some quick profits uh, next week so I can uh, cover some of the losses I have to take in some of the bad positions but still I want to be on the profitable and winning side of this all so um, let's see what happens see you guys tomorrow for the weekly analysis